Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am at work. Um, I'm screening for coronavirus tonight. Um, so I'm able to have a little time, being that I work night shift, to come on and talk a little bit today. Um, I wanted to speak on a sad moment um, when I realized I had postpartum depression um, or PPD. So PPD is when you have depression after you've given birth. Um, it can last, well, it can show itself a couple of weeks to about three, um, to about a year after you have a baby. Um, and it can usually resolve within three to six months after you've gotten assistance or help. Um, but I did pull myself out of my postpartum depression and that video will be posting soon. Um, and once that's completed, it will be in the, um, description link below um but my postpartum depression hit me after delivering my third baby um the whole pregnancy was pretty cool it wasn't difficult it wasn't hard uh, I was postpartum I was four months postpartum when I found out that I was pregnant with that third um and I honestly overall just loved the idea of being pregnant. I loved being pregnant with the baby, um, with all of my babies. Um but I couldn't I guess my postpartum depression started when I really couldn't realize or I couldn't I couldn't believe honestly that I was pregnant um again so quickly after delivering our third baby. I mean our second baby. Um but I didn't do anything different. I did everything just like I did with the babies before. Um, I ate, I worked a full-time job, um, everything, same as before. I talked to my baby, found out she was a girl, um, and I honestly couldn't believe that I was having my third girl. So um, my fast forward, um, I had an appointment for my 37 week um, mark. I decided to walk to the hospital since I live so close. Um, I had our two older girls with me. Um, I put them both in a double stroller that I had. I walked to the hospital, which was about 10 blocks or so from where I lived. Um, I got to the hospital. I could only see spots, like I couldn't move. I could see black and white spots. Um, so, you know, I was taken up to my appointment. Um, I did not have an appointment. They admitted me into the hospital as soon as I got up there and let them know that I was seeing spots. So I was admitted, I was tested, I was scanned, and that set me into a worry, um, which honestly that could worry anybody. Um, but I was more so worried because um, C-section kept going across my mind. I kept thinking that, oh my goodness, this is gonna make me have a C-section. Um, and that is my biggest fear, to um, be told or have to have a C-section. That's such a long recovery time, and um, it's major surgery, honestly. I've sat in with C-sections um, because of my job um, when I worked at anesthesia. I sat in with, with C-sections. I know how a C-section go. I've seen... Um, issues of c-sections that can happen i've seen aftermaths of people who um went through the procedure and things didn't go right and like the c-section is just a fear for me but i didn't need to have a c-section um but i was kept in the hospital a little bit over 30 hours i was discharged from the hospital around 11 o'clock that night um i got home my hospital bag was already packed because i was you know, at the hospital already. So just left everything at the door and never know what's gonna happen. My older girls were um, at my in-law's house. Um, so I just tried to get sleep. I woke up at about four o'clock that morning. Um, I went to the bathroom, I stand up from the toilet, my waters break, but because I'm still in like sleeping mode, I didn't even realize that my waters break. I thought that when I got up, I was peeing all over the floor again, so I cleaned off the floor, I washed, I got back in bed, and then next thing I know, my tummy starts to hurt. 
And funny enough, that's something that she said when she started to talk. My tum hurt. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I noticed that my tummy started to hurt. And I asked my husband if he could rub my tummy for me. Um, I know I did a birth, a, a birth story on um, this whole process. Um, so I'll make sure that's below if anyone wants to see that. Um, but it took me a minute to realize that I was having full-fledged contractions. Um, so my husband calls, um, well, I call 911 because my husband couldn't get into his phone and kind of tossed the phone at me and was kind of frantic. Um, but I called 911 and ambulance came and um, they got me to the hospital. And um, after I got an epidural, two pushes, a small tear that wasn't big enough to get a stitch, um, I delivered a beautiful five pound, three ounce baby girl. Everything was normal postpartum. I breastfed, um, recovery was normal. Um, the only thing that wasn't normal was um, my epidural. I had some issues. It felt like I had pins and needles in my legs and feet um, into the following day after I had her. I couldn't, um, I wasn't weight bearing on my legs. Like I would try to stand and my legs would automatically give out. It wasn't even um, strong enough for me to just stand and um, be able to go to the bathroom or anything like that. My husband had to transfer me from the bed to the wheelchair, wheelchair to the toilet, toilet to the wheelchair. He had to move me around. So I really depended on him a lot, um, which was another, I guess, trigger for my depression since I've, I'm so used to doing for myself and doing everything for myself um, to where ne depending on someone else to do everything needs, um, I guess kind of messed with me, but, um, you know, that's my husband. He's a, you know, if you're with someone and they, they love you enough, they'll do anything that medically you need or physically that you need to do. And, you know, if you love that person, you should be able to do that for them as well. It shouldn't just be one-sided. Um, like my husband has done for me and I've done for my husband. So that's how a, a partnership is supposed to work. Um, but um, I was discharged after, you know, being able to move around. I was discharged from the hospital and, um, you know, did everything normally when I was home. I fed my baby. Um, and I would pass her to my husband after I fed her. I would sleep. Um, I, I noticed that I didn't really want to be around any of my kids. So I would feed the baby and pass her to my husband and lay back down and go to sleep. This started to happen probably about three weeks after I had her. And I just noticed that I didn't want to spend time around my kids. Like, I wouldn't really talk to them. I didn't. I just didn't really want to spend time with my kids. And anyone that knows me knows that I love my babies. I love my man. I love my food. So at that point, I realized that I was different. Um, and I made a call to my OB. I told her that I was feeling um, kind of off. Um, I, I was feeling like I was having postpartum depression. Now, usually if you don't have some sort of medical background, you don't um, really click into realizing that you have a problem. Um, usually someone that loves you notices a difference and they can tell you that you're having a problem. Um, but because of my background and knowing what to look for, I realized rather quickly that I was having an issue and went about the steps to fix my issue. So, like I said, I made an appointment to my OB. I came in for a psychiatric check. I was diagnosed then with postpartum depression. So with the psych check, they asked questions. Um, do you feel like you want to harm yourself or harm others or, you know, questions along that route? Um, I didn't feel like harming myself. I didn't feel like, not, you know, I didn't feel like I wanted to harm myself or anybody else. It was all just a mental thing for me. Um, but my OB prescribed me Zoloft. Um, and after doing research on Zoloft, I realized that 
um, I can get myself out of this if I had the willpower and the strength enough to do so. Um, and that video, like I said in the beginning, will be posted very soon. Um, but that is how I realized that I was suffering from postpartum depression. Not wanting to hold my baby, my newborn baby, not wanting to be around my kids. I didn't want to be around my husband. I didn't want to want my husband near me, on me. I didn't want to go to family events or functions or anything like that. Um, I looked miserable in every picture that I took while I was pregnant. Like I, I, like I, I had no, no want to smile or I was not happy. Um, but I just I realized what I was going through and I got help for myself. Um, but if you feel like you have any of the symptoms like I had, or um, there's a large list of symptoms for postpartum depression, and I'll post that um, over here so you can see it. Um, so if you notice that you're going through any of these things or if your loved one is going through any of these things, um, reach out to your midwife, reach out to your OB um, and get some help. Um, if you just want someone to talk to, um, my email is below, business inquiries only. Um, I'm more than willing to be a shoulder um, for anyone to talk to. Um, but that's how I realized I had postpartum depression and how I got help. Um, that is my story. Thank you for watching. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell um, for more stories um, like this one of what I've gone through. It's easier to get through something when you know of someone else going through it and you can have that help. But that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.